Hey guys, Jamstrap here and welcome back to another video. In this one, as you can see, I'm going to be unboxing the Space Wolves Battle Force. I'm probably a bit late with this one because they've been out for a couple of weeks now, but I was kind of debating which one to get. I really wanted to get the Chaos Space Marine ones because that's kind of a project I'm working on right now. But for YouTube, I'm planning on doing a Primaris Space Wolves kit bashing kind of series where you can get all the different units to look like Space Wolves. And I thought this is pretty much a, a great spot. I mean, this little bad boy of here has got a lot of extra stuff in it. So, yeah, it's going to help me out with that series. So I'm really looking forward to that, which I should have some of those videos coming out through Christmas, hopefully. But anyway, let's get straight into it. And yeah, oh, one thing actually before we start, I actually noticed on this, uh, this picture of here, They've actually photoshopped duplicates of, I think it's like five different guys and they've just, yeah, done that. It's always a bit funny. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so let's crack this bad boy open. If I can fit it in my screen. I don't have much space here where I tend to do this. And boom, got the lock. So let's get the small sprues out of the way first. So you get two of these of the Space Wolves Primaris upgrades. Um, a little focusing, I think there's so much detail right now, but yeah, the upgrade sprues aren't they don't blow your socks off. I mean, they're pretty minimalist, especially for space wolves. I mean, they're all about the bare heads, and you get two of them, which is a bit it's a bit lame. I was hoping maybe they'll come out with something a bit cooler to tie this over until they actually bring out the stuff, but anyway, that's the stuff. I mean, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. And then there's this guy, the Iron Priest, I think the Space Wolves call him. Come on, focus up. Sorry guys, there's way too much detail going on in the screen right now. Yeah, so quite interested to see if I could kid patch this guy with a Primaris body to see what that would turn out like, because that would be pretty sweet. But um, even if not, that's a really, really cool model. I've always liked the look of it. Not sure how much use I'll get out of it, but... I did just buy a Primaris Repulsor, which I'm going to be using bits from this to kit bash, and I'll be making a video of that. So this guy might be able to fix that bad boy up in game. Okay, then we've got the flight stand for the Storm Wolf. Okay, and let's get the Primaris stuff out of the way. I'm sure everybody's seen a lot of this by now. It's just a standard intercessor sprue. Yeah, it's a nice kit. If not a bit bland, but like I said, I'm doing a series on how to spice them up a little bit. But yeah, get uh, two of those sprues. Well, I don't know if they're the exact sprue duplicated, but yeah, very tightly packed, very nice. I might do a video as well of converting this whole unit up if anybody's interested in that. Alrighty. Let's have a look at the Storm Wolf. I've wanted this model for years. I know it's, I don't know if you call it a Marmite model, but yeah, a Marmite model. Uh, yeah, it's, it is weird looking. Like a lot of people say it's like a flying trash can or looks like a wolf's head, which I kind of guess is what they went for. But go see if I can get that piece in there. Yeah, that's some cool detail right there. Really, really nice. I want to do some gluing runes on there if I can. One thing I noticed as well is the side of this has got kind of like the hover plates like the repulsor does. So I kind of feel like it fits in as nicely. Because I'm going to be using a lot of these bits to kidbash my Primaris army. But anyway, that's that sprue. Really nice. Super pumped. Well, I've never actually had a flyer ever of any army. Well, technically, I got a Ducker jet, but I've never made it. Oh, uh, my little whole thing is stuck. Uh, that's the little, what do you call the cockpit window? Apparently, you're supposed to use PVA glue to glue these in because that's normal glue or super glue or plastic glue messes it up. All right, and now we've got the main kind of body on top of it. So we got nice wolfy detail there. 
I'm definitely glad I've got an airbrush now. I've recently bought one and because I'm painting vehicles with a paintbrush. It's never the funnest thing. But yeah, like I said, I mainly got this. Well, I've always wanted it, but it's also because I'm going to be using the bits from it. That's the most important part. Yeah, so fairly long model if you look at that. It's like two of my hands. It's pretty huge. All right. There we go. That's kind of what I was talking about with the little plates. It kind of reminds me of the repulsor hover thing. So there is kind of design elements that bring the army together. So like I said, I've got a repulsor. I'm going to be using these bits and everything to making it look real pretty. And yeah, I think it will tie in pretty nice. Man, I'm looking forward to building this up. This is going to be fun. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I love that piece right there. Let me have a closer look if I can. Yeah, just look at that detail. I really love the old school Space Wolf stuff. I hope they stop messing around and just get the Primaris guys to actually have some flavor. All right, lastly, but certainly not least, we've got the Wolfen guys. And that's another one of those things I think a lot of people either love them or hate them. I personally wasn't too fond when they first came out. I prefer the the Viking aesthetic of Space Wolves, not the werewolf side, which they've unfortunately lean, lent towards this wolf part of it. But I've, I've already built a kit of these up, and they're absolutely great. There's just so much detail and brilliant models, and people say they're really good on the tabletop too. Yeah, but you know. You got some pretty sweet backpacks there if you wanted to use them for all, some Primaris guys. Obviously you can't really use the heads. But you got little claws, you can use as you know, lightning claws, something like that. Loads and loads of detail. And lots of extra bits. I've used quite a lot of this for kid bashing my, what do you call it, uh, iron, not iron priest, sorry, uh, wolf priest and stuff like that. So yeah, basically I'm rambling on you, but if you want to kid bash Primaris, Space Wolves, just buy some of the non old marine kits and use the bits from them, like this, the Storm Wolf. And yeah, you'll have everything you need. And this is what I love as well. I think my last one I completely did with Thunder Shields. Thunder Shields? Storm Shields? Sorry, Storm Shields. Not Thunder Hammers, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I love the detail on these. Might try to stick a couple on my. Primaris dudes if it's possible but yeah great axes loads of bits like I say you, some people might not like them but if you do definitely pick them up because they're a, they're a great kit and of course get a bucket load of all these bad boys bases and stuff one loose one there your instructions but yeah nobody really wants to see that all right guys that's it for this one sorry if that was a bit rambly but like i said i've got a lot of wolf things in, on the mind right now but anyway check my channel out subscribe because i make videos like this every week and uh, yeah comment and like if you want to and i'll see you in the next one guys and also if this is the last video you watch before christmas merry christmas to you and see you in the new year Bye bye